Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and welcome to the beginning of a new little series, and this is based off of the um, the new module pack that Speaking Evil has just recently released, and these are called the Vanilla Swirls. There are a series of five of them, uh, no excuse me, six of them, uh, which I will be covering hopefully at some later date, uh, and these are going to be also by Speaking Evil. Um, so there's just there's Discharge Maze, which is based off of Capacitor Discharge and uh, the module Maze, and these are essentially combinations of vanilla modules in this case. We've got keypad sequence, which is a wire sequence and keypads. Uh, we've got memory wires, which is a, compli a combination of memory and wires, coincidentally. Morse complication is complicated wires and uh, Morse code. Password buttons is the button and password. And Simon Swiffles is the knob and Simon Says. So these are going to be essentially a little new series that I'm going to begin with. I'm going to start with probably the easiest one, in my opinion, that, and that is memory wires today. And hopefully I'll get to covering these um, sometime soon. I just got done with Forget's Ultimate Showdown. Uh, so please bear with me if this is the only one I actually do today, but these are going to be my next priority here. So let's start with memory wires. Memory wires is a fairly simple module here uh, with the rules of memory and wires at the bottom. Fairly simple and easy to tell them apart from one another. Um, so, path to correct wires to progress to the next module, uh, to the next stage, complete all the stages to just on the module. There's only five stages, as you can see on the right side by the indicators over here, um, and that's going to be it. Cutting an incorrect wire will reset the module back to stage one. So very important that you do this right, because there is there is the possibility that you could just simply go back all the way. Uh, correct wires satisfy the rules from the correct list corresponding to the stage of the module and the digit displayed on the screen. Uh, with one exception, of course. And what's going to happen here is that there's going to be, you're going to check for the last additional numbers, odd or even, because this is two parts of it. But you're also going to check for potentially a uniform case, which in this case is going to be uh, if the bomb has the parallel as a parallel port, which in this case it does not, so this rule already does not apply. But if it has a parallel port, a lit indicator labeled CAR or FRK, uh, and two or more batteries, all of this has to be true, then we're simply going to be using the rules for, for uh, using these set of rules for all stages. It's very important that you pay attention to this. This is the only case uh, where you simply just focus on this one little bit right here. It's essentially a uniform. Otherwise, use one of the use one of the other two lists of rules here, and this is going to be separated by less than two numbers, even or if it's uh, even or odd. Which in this case, we're going to be taking a look at the odd case this time around. So in this case, we've got five. Five is the last digit of the serial number. So this is going to be if the last digit of the serial number is odd. And now, what's going to happen with this table? is we're going to have a stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and stage five little blocks right here. And each of the positions, uh, each of these numbers represent the um, represent the, the display here. Uh, so the one represents the one display. And in this case, we're going to be taking a look at the five display for this one. Now, in the term of the, and in the, um, in the, in the fact that, consider the, Considering the fact that this is a memory module, this is going to require us to have to note this stuff down. So in this case, we're going to want to note down the wires present on the module and the ones that we cut as well. We've got blue, red, white, red, blue, and black. And the black will be notated with uh, the black here. Um, I think it's just limited to like four or five wire colors. But in this case, this is going to be what we're going to note down. And let's figure out what we need to note. Let's figure out what we need to cut here because we need to figure out what we need to do here. So. For the display being 5, which I wrote down in the display here too, the wire to the right of the leftmost red wire, these for each wire, if we, we can cut them, if this rule applies. So the wire is to the right of the leftmost red wire. So the leftmost red wire, in this case, is right here. And if the wire is to the right of it, of the leftmost red wire, we can cut it. So we can cut all three of these guys, right here, all four of these guys right here, three, four, five, six, uh, three, four, five, and six. And just like that, it accepts that, and now we head to the next series of displays here. So let's mark, I'm going to mark with an asterisk that we did cut these guys, um, just to keep things kind of clear. Um, we did cut these guys, and now let's note, down, let's note down this next stage. One stage has been completed, so now we simply need to take a look at the next one. So we've got red, yellow, yellow, white, blue, and red. And we have a display of five here. So a display of five is the wire is in a position that had a wire of the same color in stage one. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for wires that had the exact same color from the previous stage, which in this case only actually applies to one, just from looking at the color scheme here. And this is going to be the fifth wire, in this case, blue. So we're, we're going to only be cutting the fifth wire right here. And just like that, that is good for that stage. Brilliant. Next up, we've got blue, yellow, blue, red, white, black. Uh, let's space all these guys out. And we have three for this display. The three rule for stage three corresponds to this. The wire is in an even position that has had uh, a red or white wire in it. 
Okay, so what this means is that we're going to be looking at an even position. So we're only going to be limiting this to 2, 4, and 6 um, from left to right, of course. And it has had a red or white wire in it previously. And this is going to be specifically referring to has had. So let's take a look at 2. 2 has had a red wire before. Um, 4 has had a red wire before. And 6 has indeed had a red wire before. So we're going to be cutting all, four, all three of these guys right here. 2, 4, and 6. Okay. Continue. Uh, so we've got this one right here. Uh, and now we're going to be heading on to stage 4. Stage 4, yellow, uh, white, red, blue, yellow, white. This play is a 5. Once again, we're getting lots of 5s here. Um, this play is a 5. The wire is to the immediate left, and immediate left is referring to only one space left, not like the position that we had, not like the case that we had before, where the wire was to the right, where it was simply everything to the right. This is to the immediate left of a position where a wire was cut in stage one. This is exactly why you need to note down the wire colors and the cuts because of the fact that this is going to be very important. So the wire is to the immediate left of the position where the wire was cut in stage one. So if we can take a look here, positions three through six were cut. So all we simply need to do is move everything once to the left and cut two through five. And just like that, that's good to go. And finally, for our last stage, we have a display of two. So let's take a look at this final example here. So for two, for stage five, the wire is in a position adjacent to a wire that that was the same color in stage two. Okay, let's break this apart. So the wire is in a position adjacent to a wire that was the same color in stage two. Okay, so what this essentially means here is looking at the display that we have here right now and looking at stage two, we want to see if there was a, um, if there was like, for example, a color around it, in this case, a black, if there was a black in the second position, there was a wire in a position adjacent to the wire that had the same color in stage two. <coughs> stage two was right here. Um, there was no position of black. Uh, there, there was no black in the second position. It's the only one that's adjacent to it. Keep in mind, these guys, uh, these wires do not loop around to the other side. That's one thing I should mention very carefully here. Um, they do not loop around to the other side ever, I don't think. Um, so, Next up, taking a look at yellow. Was yellow in the first or third position? Because those are those are what I consider as adjacent. In this case, yes, there was a there was a yellow wire in the second stage in the third position. So therefore, we can cut this one. Next up, uh, there was a yellow uh, for the third position in the second position in the second stage. So we can therefore cut this guy. And the same case goes for the second one as we just did. Um, there was a four, there there was a yellow wire in the third position in stage two, and that's adjacent to the fourth wire. That's good to go. Next up for red, red there was a there was a red in the sixth slot uh, in the second stage, so therefore this one's adjacent as well. And finally for the blue, there was a blue adjacent uh, in the fifth position at the second at the um, at the uh, second stage, so therefore we can cut this one as well. And there we go, just like that is a solved module. So yeah, you got to be very careful with how things word it. Uh, in this case, I was not considering positions that had um, a wire in the exact same position. I'm not sure if that if that's what it counts as adjacent because I think it means a specific uh, another specific spot. For example, one would be was one one would be referring to two, two would be referring to one and three, three would be referring to two and uh, to two and four, for example, and so on and so forth. So in this case, I was looking for positions that were not the exact same position. But in this case, we happen to get a lot of them really nice and easy. And if you're unsure about it, if the wire is specifically going to be cut, of course, one of the nice things that you can do is you can simply just skip it. And if you're not comfortable with it, come back to it later because you might not be, you might not be sure of the rule. Because that's one thing that you can do with this mod is you is once you cut the exact wires to be cut for that stage, it immediately moves on to the next stage. So that's one thing that you can absolutely use into your, use to your advantage. Let's take a look at one more. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and look for even or odd cases because it's really just a bunch of random rules. To be completely honest. Um, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. So let's see what we get. Um, <clears throat> it would be nice if we do it even, but let's see. Uh, we get on again. So let's continue. We've got yellow, blue, blue, uh, space these out. Yellow, blue, blue, red, black, red, and a display of six. Uh, I'm just writing this stuff down just to keep it in my memory. <clears throat> the last digit was on, as you can see, one right here. And the wire is not adjacent to the blue wire. Ooh, okay. So... Uh, as you can see here, we have two blue wires that stick out like a sore thumb. This is these these two are adjacent to the one and the four position. So therefore, we can we can then cut five and six perfectly fine because they are not adjacent to the blue wires. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's mark this down. Black and red. Let's cut these suckers. 
and just like that, we move on to the next data. So white, blue, white, yellow, uh, white, black, let's space the case out, I never forgot to do that, and a display of two this time. So we're definitely getting different stuff that we, get, that we can do. So the wire is in a position to the left of the leftmost wire that was cut in stage one. Okay. <clears throat> the leftmost wire that was cut in stage one was in the fifth position. So the wire is in a position to the left. So in this case, this means that we need to have stuff to the left of the fifth position. So we can now cut one, two, three, four. So let's do that. One, two, three, and four will be cut. So one, two, three, and four, and just like that, that's good. Uh, red, white, red, blue, yellow, black. And a display of six this time around. <laughs> Let's take a look. The display of six uh, for the third stage, excuse me, display of six for the third stage, is the wire is in a position that has had exactly one blue wire in it. So this is referring to previous stages. Um, or it, it, may, it might not actually be referring to previous stages. I might figure this out right now. If it was, if it is just referring to previous stages, then it's only going to be the third position. Otherwise, it is going to be the fourth position. So it should just be this one, if I'm correct. No, okay, so it does include this stage as well. So this position has also had a blue in it. I just learned something new, thank you very much. Uh, so this position has had exactly one blue wire in it, and this does include the stage that is present in it. The had makes it sound like it's the last two stages, but just obviously be careful with that. And like I said, that's why I avoided cutting that one immediately, because of the fact that I was unsure of a rule that would work. That, that work. So therefore, we now progress to the next stage. So now we have blue, yellow, white, yellow, white, blue. Okay. <laughs> Display is a three. For the fourth stage, the wire is in a position that has had exactly one white wire in it. Okay. So let's see. Uh, this position, the first position has had exactly one white wire in it from previous stages. Uh, same thing goes for the second. The third has had two white wires in it, including this one. So we're not going to cut that one. Uh, uh, the fourth has had zero. The fifth has had two. The sixth is at zero. So therefore, we're only going to be getting one and two. That's good. And finally, for our last stage, white, white, black, white, black, yellow. And the display is four. Let's see what we have. The wire is adjacent to a red or white wire and in a position where a wire was not cut in stage one. Okay. So let's break this apart. So one thing that we can do is you immediately limit the amount of wires we need to pay attention to is pay attention to the fact that we do not want it. We do not want to cut at a position where a wire was... Uh, um, we need to cut in a position where a wire was not cut in stage one. So we can already avoid five and six because those were the only two positions uh, that were um, that were cut from stage one. So we want to avoid the ones um, that that were cut. So we're going to only focus on one through four here. Uh, one through four. <clears throat> the wire is adjacent to a red or white wire. So uh, a white is adjacent to a white. White is adjacent to a white. Uh, black is adjacent to a white, and just like that, that's it. The fourth one we did not have to cut because it was only adjacent to two black wires. So therefore, a module has been solved. That's all there is for this one. This one is a fairly simple one to get you started on the vanilla swirls, as they're called it. Um, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>